Hey there, Codiers. Kip here with another video on how to set up your Cody. Now, I'm going to talk today about the latest, the greatest, my favorite new add-on, Exodus. Uh, Exodus, just to give you a quick little background, um, everybody remembers Genesis. Genesis was great. Genesis disappeared. Well, Genesis was created by a gentleman named Lambda. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, Lambda, for some reason, uh, decided to move on all of a sudden uh, back in December. Uh, and ended up, uh, he handed off the programming to what became Specto. So Specto took over Genesis, got that, kept that going. But, boom, a couple weeks ago, came out with a really, really cool one. Wow, I love the way it works. Uh, I'll, here's why I like it better. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. I find that Exodus... Their high def uh, and 1080p feeds on some of their TV show on the, some of the TV shows and movies, wow, working fantastic. Specto, love you, fantastic add-on too. Just like Genesis, uh, you, I understand you're going to make your own changes, but so far I haven't I haven't been happy with the high def and the 1080p. Uh, I've got a good TV, I've got a good stereo system, I want to take advantage of everything. So that's where Exodus is currently my favorite. Still like the Specto though. So, let's get Exodus set up. Now, I'm going to start off by telling you all right now that the best thing is to have set up is Fusion. The Fusion repository uh, as given by uh, TV add-ons. If you have it, great. If you don't get it, this is this is the be all end all. This is the greatest thing that that's ever happened to Cody and should ever happen. Uh, it's got everything. Uh, this is where you get you're going to get uh, the most reputable uh, add-ons. Quite frankly, uh, things that aren't going to screw up your system and make you have to knock it all apart and rebuild it all again. No, trust the fusion. Fusion. So. How do we get it all again? Now, like I said, TV add-ons, TV www.tvaddons.ag. These guys are wonderful. Uh, great information. Um, very well laid out. Their news. Please, please, I rec highly recommend joining their Facebook group. Search up TV add-ons on Facebook. Wow, the news is great uh, because. They give really good, simple, and consistent details on how to install things. Like for the installing the Exodus, go down here. Here's the instructions right here. Simple, with pictures. And everything that you're going to need is right here. So, how do we install it? We navigate to Programs. I'm going to go over there right now. Scroll over to Programs. Now it wants you... To launch the add-on installer tool. Um, I keep it here as a shortcut, quite frankly, for this reason. You're also going to find it here in your programs, but let's, let's launch it straight from the add-on installer. Just be patient while everything loads up. Bang. Now, you're going to find it's going to be in a couple different places. It will be in your video add-ons. This is just the general video add-ons, but remember, Exodus is, is quite frankly, it, it's it's under it's in the spotlight right now. So here, featured add-ons. Take a look at these, by the way, folks. It's okay. Have a boo at some of these things. Some of these are pretty good. Um, US TV Now. There's the old good old Project TV. Ooh, I'm gonna have to check this out. I didn't see this before. Oh, not not kidding. But anyway, here we go. Exodus, right there. Click on it. There's the installer. Right there. You click on install, and I'm not going to do it just because I've already installed it, but it, it, it'll install. Now, if and if you want to set it up here as one of your uh, shortcuts, go to my last video. It'll tell you how to do that. Now, you have it all loaded. Um, He's, he's done a couple of updates on this thing uh, since releasing it. I highly recommend, especially with the latest Jarvis uh, update to Cody, if you've done that, shut this thing down. Start it back up, 
shut it down, start it back up. Give it a minute every time that a minute or two every time that you start it back up. Why? Let these things update. Jarvis uh, made some major changes, and I have seen a whole bunch of uh, apps having to be disabled. I have seen a whole bunch of things happening in this uh, while it optimizes the. Uh, so give it time, patience, folks. Turn it on. Go to the fridge. Go. Uh, go make your bed. Do something. Okay. So, once you got Exodus loaded, you've let it update, you went over two programs to the, uh, oh, sorry, to the system, to the appearance, and into your skin settings, and put it into your add-on shortcuts. Highly recommended. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Put it on your main page. Now, when you open her up, some nice clean layout, very simple. Um, I'm sorry, I've already been in it here. There, we got movies, TV shows. I haven't gotten into all of this yet, I'm not gonna lie. But you explore this thing, check things out. You're not gonna hurt anything. Movies, very simply laid out. Genres, year, people, ways of search, different certain ways of searching different things. My favorite is checking out the most popular and the people watching. Flip through the pages, see what kind of things, movies that people are watching. You might find some pretty cool stuff. Oscar winners, watch something with Leo in it. Wow! Then you go over to the TV shows. Same thing. Check out the most popular. Check out the re returning TV shows. Fantastic. Now, but... The biggest problem I have is the favorites. I didn't like it at first, and I'll show you why. I opened it up. Where's your favorites? It's in my lists. It is controlled by Tracked and IMDB. I Now, at first I was not sure of this. I've talked to some people that, quite frankly, they say, I am not going to sign into an external website. Forget it. Ah, well, I'll tell you what, um, I've done it. I haven't had a major problem yet. No issues. I'm not getting a bunch of spam. I'm not getting a bunch of crap here, folks. So, what do you do? Go into your tools. Uh, right here. Set it, you got settings, accounts. Tracked. What you have to do is, if I click on this, let's reset it. Authorization. I have to go to Track TV, pin 7920. Now, so obviously this is we're going to require that I sign into Tracked.tv. Sign in an account. Again, I am not getting a bunch of junk mail. And all this is, is an off-site uh, savings of my um, my favorites. That's all it is. So I go to Track TV. As you can see, I've already I've already created an account, and it's pin slash seven nine two zero. There, you're going to get a pin. Go back to Cody. Enter PIN. What is it? 5D5128VF. Yes, I made a mistake. Done. I'm authorized. I'm in. I've also set up my IMDB. Uh, I can see that he's added some other things, Aurora TV, uh, all these others. Uh, I'm not, haven't quite gotten into checking all of these out yet. Uh, just because, well, yeah, again, I'm gun shy on websites too. Aurora TV, I don't really have an issue with. Aurora has been fantastic as a source of, uh, uh, soft, of, uh, provider. It's been a very good provider, uh. So there we go for everything. And then I'm going to go into, because I've already been populating it into my list, I can to different things. So I've already filled up my TV collection. Now, 
with the here's my TV collection. This is all everything that I have set aside that I like, and all the various TV shows. Uh, let's pick something that uh, I think should be really popular. Agent Carter. Absolutely love this show. Uh, as you can see, I've watched it all. Um, very simple. It works just the same as Genesis. There are some high def. Dizzy Labs is a very good uh, uh, source for things. Bang. Play. It took two seconds. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's go backwards here. Let's check out the movies. Because the thing I like about this is... This is a... Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the wrong button. Getting button happy. I love that it's off-site stuff. So, you know what? If something happens, you, or you, you change systems, you, you want to uh, set up uh, your favorites on a different uh, computer or different tablet, different phone... You can sign into your tracked account and get it all. I, that's what I like. It's off, just something off, out from the app. What if a different app comes along? That different app is now the latest greatest. Well, it's so simple to bring it in. So here's a few movies I, that I've uh, bookmarked here. Let's uh, check out something quick and simple. It's going to be, we know it's in 1080 uh, here. Kingsman. No, I have not watched Deadpool, folks. I, I my, Here's my one simple rule. Wait till it's on DVD. So, there we got All the uh, beautiful 1080p. Speed is not bad. I don't have the, I don't have the biggest badass uh, uh, internet to package. There we go. Look at that. I don't, I don't. And, but I, it, my 1080p and, uh, and my high def work very good. So there we go. There is how that you set up s some simple favorites. Go into, once you get it all installed, once you get everything updated, go into your accounts and set it up. Uh, as you can see, I've signed into my IMDB. I've set up my tract. And here's the best part. Like I said, this is offline. Oh, Specto has been updated. Go into TV shows. Go into favorites. Favorites are brought over here, too. So, and some extra some leftovers, too. I had some leftovers in here that I haven't uh, brought over into, uh, uh, into Tract. So there we go, folks. There is how you set up your Exodus, set up your favorites. I love it. Give it time. Uh, the 1080, my favorite part about it. Specto has just had an update and will clearly be there. Again, update your Jarvis. Inst uh, install it all from your programs, from your add-on installer. If you need instructions, I highly recommend that you Google your my favorite TV add-ons. Sign up to their Facebook group. It's going to help you out, folks. So... Have a great day, enjoy your exodus, and happy coding!